वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री दैट इज स्टरलाइजेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द वेरियस मेथड्स ऑफ स्टरलाइजेशन अलॉन्ग विद द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्टरलाइजेशन हियर वी विल कवर ड्राई हिट स्टरलाइजेशन मॉइस्ट हिट स्टरलाइजेशन रेडिएशन एंड केमिकल स्टरलाइजेशन विद देयर बेनिफिट्स एडवांटेजेस एंड लिमिटेशन ऑल्सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल आई कीप अपलोडिंग a very useful videos on various topics in pharmaceutical industry so let's start with the video first we will see the sterilization concept sterilization processes are used to deploy all forms of living microorganisms in a substance sterilization methods aims at preserving the substance for a long time it involves the application of heat or chemical on a substance like drugs food surgical equipment and nutraceuticals etc methods of sterilization can be categorized in a various various categories but here is for ease of categorization we have divided this sterilization method into two major topics major parts like hot sterilization and cold sterilization in hot sterilization category we have covered the sterilization techniques which use the higher temperature to achieve sterilization and other sterilization techniques which does not use the higher temperature for the sterilization are covered under cold sterilization here we will see in detail each type of sterilization in hot sterilization method basically two types of sterilizations are used dry heat sterilization and moist heat sterilization as we know the dry heat denatures the microbial proteins so dry heat is used for the sterilization process the instruments equipments which can withstand the higher temperature are only used for or subjected for hot sterilization that is dry heat sterilization in this method dry hot air of approximately 300 degree celsius or more than that is used to achieve the sterilization for lab scale small units of 3 to 5 liter capacity are used whereas depolarization tunnels are used to achieve sterilization for glass vials also this method has a limitations that the material which cannot withstand higher temperatures cannot be sterilized by using dry heat sterilization second method of hot sterilization is moist heat sterilization as compared to the dry heat moist heat has a better penetrability and as due to this with the moist heat sterilization we can achieve the sterilization at relatively lower temperature than dry heat sterilization moist heat sterilization is considered as a method of choice for sterilization in this method most common parameters used are that is temperature of 121 degree celsius and sterilization or the exposure time of 15 minutes in pharmaceutical industry we use overkill approach that is to get a uh, over or extra assurance for sterilization we expose the materials at 121 degree celsius for 30 minutes this is moist heat sterilization moist heat sterilization method can be used for both the porous and non porous loads this autoclave has uh, some confirmatory or assurance tests like bovidic test and lick test that has to be done prior to taking commercial load or commercial sterilization processes benefit of this moist heat sterilization is that that Uh, sterilization is achieved at relatively lower temperature than than dry heat sterilization method whereas some mat materials which cannot withstand the temperature above 100 degree celsius cannot be sterilized by using moist heat sterilization for that purpose we have to use the cold sterilization methods now we will see cold sterilization methods the major sterilization methods which does not include or heat for the sterilization are covered under cold sterilization method in this method 
द इम्पॉर्टेंट टाइप इज केमिकल स्टरलाइजेशन मेथड हियर बाय मीन्स ऑफ केमिकल वी अचीव द स्टरलाइजेशन दीज केमिकल स्टरलाइजेशन आर देन सब डिवाइडेड इन टू द टू टाइप्स दैट इज गैसी स्टरलाइजेशन एंड लिक्विड स्टरलाइजेशन फर्स्ट वी विल सी गैसी स्टरलाइजेशन The chemically reactive gases like ethylene dioxide or formaldehyde are used for the gaseous sterilization. They act by alkylation the proteins and amino groups of nucleic acid of microorganisms. After the gaseous sterilization method, cleaning procedure is important as this gaseous sterilization includes a treatment by a chemical gases and that needs to be removed from the surfaces of the instruments or the material that we have sterilized by using these chemicals next type is liquid sterilization in this method hydrogen peroxide glutaraldehyde and hydrochlorides are used for sterilization it possesses broad spectrum biocidal activity and has found applicable in various things like surgical instruments specific medical diagnostic electrical equipments and for the surface sterilization of powders next method under this category of cold sterilization is radiation sterilization radiation sterilization method is used to sterilize the material which cannot withstand the higher temperatures this includes a gamma radiation beta radiation electron beam or ultraviolet light radiation can be lethal to biological microorganism by inducing genetic damage and chemical changes in key biological macromolecules during sterilization treatment the sample of interest is bombarded with high energy electrons and high energy electro electromagnetic radiations and one more and the last sterilization method is filtration method this method is particularly used for the liquids that will get damaged with the heat radiation or the chemical sterilization that type of liquids are sterilized by using filtration method in this method uh, most commonly these liquids are filtered with micro filter of pore size of 0.22 micron and this filters effectively removes the microorganisms after this filtration of liquid we test that filtered liquid for bio burden or the sterility this is a method of choice for the liquids after formulations in the pharmaceutical industry so we have covered in this video hot sterilization method and the cold sterilization hot sterilization includes dry heat and moist heat sterilization whereas cold sterilization includes chemical sterilization which is then sub categorized in two types that is gaseous and liquid sterilization after that in cold sterilization radiation sterilization and the filtration sterilization thank you for watching this video and subscribe to channel for more pharmaceutical industry related videos thank you welcome friends to the important topic in pharmaceutical industry that is sterilization